what's going on here. I have no idea that why am I being wrongfully accused of not paying for hubcaps or his one bid items. Uh, well, here's the thing. Maybe the, maybe there wasn't no money exchanged, but intent is part of the law. Intent to harm somebody's business is there. Especially okay? when you email intent Mr. DeMarco. to uh, make fake accounts under VPN services, okay, to harm someone's reputation is there. Yep. I don't have to be a lawyer to tell you what Finch did is against the law and what Ed Kuhn is engaged in um, with with him is against the law. Right. And the reason being is is that you do your research online, you research the law, and we don't have to be lawyers or experts on the law to know how things work in the United States of America. Well, yeah. It's what's right and what's wrong. And what's wrong is... There are people out there that have nothing better to do but watch the watch people that watch the they want to the watch people burn, and they enjoy that shit. Ed Cohn and and Charles Finch enjoy watching people's misery, and they're jealous and of their success. They are tyrants under our constitutional rights, and we are allowed to assemble against those tyrants. Right. And that's exactly what we did. I think in this case, they think they're above the law too. No, point. they're not. They're, no, they're, they're nowhere not near it. it. No, Matter of fact, in their eyes, they're, they're way far away from it. Sure, <laughs> exactly. And Just as closer as you think you are, the further away you are. Mm -hmm. Now they... Now Just they, because now, he... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now they blabbed uh, for a good probably 40 minutes about how eBay could be tied in with Mr. DeMarco, how how Lithium Technologies could be tied into all of us, how we could be PayPal affiliates, how I myself can... You know, be working. Hey, for I'm eBay, not. You know. I, yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, they're trying eBay to. eBay probably this is crap. involved with all his fake accounts through PayPal. No, but what Fitch is that, trying. I can to, tell you, know. he even he even makes fake PayPal accounts just to hurt Joe. Right. Exactly. You have to have a PayPal account to do business on eBay. Well, well he, as far as we know, he made fake. He makes fake channels on YouTube to uh, uh, to comment and. Multiple personality channel he, he, on his own website. He's using various uh, names and channels to make uh, insulting comments. I have all that documented, and Mr. Coon, I yeah, have all your made, crap documented he's, too. He's put my he's put my name my own name on there to comment against myself um, and people maybe I know as comments. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So that. Is that is criminal evidence too? Yep. And all they did. And he's the only. Yeah, he's the only right. one commenting. Maybe there is a few, but I think maybe him and Doc are the only one commenting on his website. It's not that he's commenting. The reason he's commenting is because it helps with the SEO search engine score. Exactly. He's trying to get his ratings up on on Google and everything. So he's sabotaging yeah. Google. But all that stuff about. He complained about the Weebly sites and how they, they didn't take his crap down. He, taught, he complained about the ChuckFitzScammers.com site not being taken down. Well, and then what do you do? You retaliate by using JasonCaniobully.com, and then you're going to do Joe DeMarco Get shit can yeah, com. Team eBay smear campaign or something exactly. like that. Exactly. That was Doc's website, Showbusters. All these websites that these guys have made in the last two and a half years have done nothing but, a, but smeared Innocent people like me, innocent people like you, like Joe, Matt, my girlfriend, Stephanie Breon, Chris Kennedy, Jason Kelly, you name it, whoever hey, I we already, have ties I to. Under, yeah, that's true. Um, and some people that, you know, we don't even know who they are have probably been on there. Uh, judges have been on there. Uh, again, Rob, Rob Walchek has, has been smeared on his website. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, your girlfriend, um, he tried pulling my family into it, and I said, look, I already told the police. He threatens my family again. It's over, okay? I'm not playing these political games with this tyrant that's threatening me, mm -hmm. okay? I'm not. He's trying to pull people in to use it as extortion of the law, okay? Right. And I told the police what he's doing. The, both ends of the police know. And uh, he's not going to get away with the bullshit. Yeah, if there's any... Okay. And if there's, I will tell uh, Mr. Finch right now, there are two courts in this world. Actually, there's 30. But, okay, there's the court that me and you go to against civil matters and criminal matters. And then there's what's called uh, the government structure of, that, of those laws that the judges look through 
to make a case, okay? When they make a case, especially in these matters, and this is a big court case because it's generally involving a big company, Fox 2 News, okay, with the with Rob Walchek, who is a celebrity in the news in the news world, mm-hmm. okay? So a celebrity is involved, okay? Now, Rob Walchek has done nothing wrong to harm Charles Finch in any matter. Yeah. He exposed him for being a being basically a criminal. Okay? Mm-hmm. Harassing and stalking people is a crime. It, it, it's a it's a flat out crime. And and I've told these and I've said this in my videos all the time, Keith, that Joe can get him on those charges that are eBay related. We, on the other hand, can get him on the charges of stalking, right. bullying, harassing, That's true. defaming. Um, he says that, oh, possibly eBay's involved. Of course eBay's going to be involved, but not in the Fox 2, no, uh, new, uh, in the Fox 2 News case against you and Rob. But right. I guarantee you when it comes to Joe, eBay has all the evidence of the shit that you've done. Yes, eBay, eBay is working eBay with eBay will Joe. back him up, and exactly. I guarantee you that eBay is going to back him up. Yeah, and even if they have to be publicly exposed because Fat Boy wants to expose him because that's his main mission in life is to expose eBay because he got shit canned off of uh, the website. Yeah. Well, you if know, anything's gonna happen to eBay. Matter of fact, eBay will gain more respect taking someone like piece of trash like him off the system, okay, yes. and, and exposing people like him, which we already know people like him exist, okay. And he's I, just an and... example of. Not a critic. Mm-hmm. He's an example of evidence that he's harming people on eBay. Uh, he impersonated a cop under eBay's blows dot org's uh, email, mm-hmm. which that was documented. Right. So there's your proof, Mister Ed Cohen. Yeah, there's another there's, an- there's another piece of proof that yet you could keep saying that they're that we're lying and we're just we're just sugarcoating everything. Let me tell you something, Mr. Coon. If we were sugarcoating everything and we thought if we thought what we were saying was far from the truth, we would back off in a heartbeat. But because we stuck with what we know is the truth, okay, then that's why we keep fighting for it. Now, we could go on and say, you know, this is a big waste of time. Joe could could be on his own, but see, Joe is our, is our our online friend and soon to be best friend because we will meet him in person eventually, sometimes later on down the line. Okay, right. And it's people like that, Mister Fitch, that you need to start respecting because you are a jealous, lazy fuck. That's all you are to to this society. And when you realize that you fucked with the wrong people, again, how many times we have to tell you that? You cannot debate us verbatim. You cannot get us on anything because you yourself have not presented any kind of credibility evidence against us that would free give you your freedom. There is nothing well, there. That's that's true. Yep. Here's the problem: is you know. when I did when I, when I was following Finch on the stuff that he was doing. And the stuff that he was feeding me, he was like, oh, yeah, Joe, look at all uh, Joe's stuff. He's ripping people off on eBay. I was like, look, he's not ripping anybody off just because, you know, he had a couple negative feedbacks. What, he's, what you're doing to him is against the law. Yeah. And I told him that in many, many YouTube e- emails. There's nothing in Joe's videos that would ever suggest that he was ripping off any customer of his or, for that matter, degrading anybody as far as that's concerned, or giving poor customer service. Yeah. The only reason yeah, why Fitch is saying this is because he's dealt with Mr. DeMarco, and unfortunately, he rubbed Mr. DeMarco the wrong way, and unfortunately, now Mr. DeMarco is so determined to get Mr. Fitch put in jail. There ain't no looking back. You see, Joe may be a quiet fighter, but what Fitch does right. not realize is that just because Fitch is not public, Joe is not publicly outspoken like me or you, uh, there are ways of getting around this. And the more that Fitch sure. talks, the more he looks like a bad fool. And you know what? I, I at this point of the game, I don't care if the fat, the old man or the fat bastard decide they want to sue me for for the truth. You're going to sue me for the truthful exposure of your sorry asses, your jealous particular personality. Uh, right. 
go right ahead. I got nothing to hide. Okay, these guys brought on mail fraud charges on me, and everything else in the book. They they think you have a meth lab. They've been trying to get you yeah. thrown out of your house. Uh, they were trying. Yeah, he said know. he was going to try and do uh, some kind of property deed assessment thing with some video he did, which don't work. Yeah, where's your real estate okay. license, buddy? Where is it? Where, 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 yeah. where, where is your Where is your government? Number one, when you when you you he's not going to. It's it's beyond his realm. Okay, he don't. He, he's not going to be able. To, uh, he's not going to be able to apprehend anybody's property or seize anybody's property for any reason, okay? You can't even comprehend anything. You're, you're talking apprehend. to somebody that knows a lot about property, for one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I believe it. I, I believe, I believe, and my, uh, that everybody... Anybody here, that owns a house, okay? Like, Joe owns a house. Mm -hmm. I own a house. You know, anybody that owns their own property, you know, all those property laws are f when you buy a house... You know, you look all those up. Okay, what are my zoning laws? What are my rights? I got the title. Okay, I own the property. I own the taxes. I own the deed. Okay, you don't own the deed actually until you pay the house off. Right. But, you know, it it's called health time. insurance. Okay, not right. unless you can get the insurance company to give you the insurance policy on the land that you own. Good luck. <laughs> right. Yeah, and it's just like when you when you pay off the uh, when you pay off your car, you don't get the deed for another like two weeks because it takes two weeks to mail it back out to you. And right. And you own the car outright. When you See, he talks trash and he expects us to uh, bow to his demands, and it's not happening, dude. It is not going okay? to happen. And Fox it's never News... happened in the history of human society has anybody bowed to the devil. Okay, the devil has always been put behind us. And that's the way it's always been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll piss that'll piss uh, Mr. Coon off even more with us talking about religious little things like the devil and Jesus and everything else. Well, it's it is it's religious because mm -hmm. uh, humans evolved to the point where okay, there's got to be a higher understanding of what we do, who we are. Right. You know, there, there's other things out there that we we don't understand. So, yeah. We evolved to those. And, it, and it's a sad shame that basically uh, people like these two individuals are yeah. out there shooting right. their mouth off against a very respectable company like eBay, very respectable company like PayPal. Uh, you know, they're not Clark Howard in my book. Okay, Clark Howard is as honest as, as American Pie. Okay? Right. Is the one thing that separates a, uh, a consumer warrior like Clark Howard and a scumbag like Ed Kuhn is that the credibility between the two of them, you could see it right there. Well, another one he, he attacked was King Human. Exactly. Okay? King, King Human's really credible. He's got a great... He, he shows people how to do things the right way. Again, it's jealousy. Um, unfortunately, it's not my fault that that somebody doesn't understand his material, okay? It's not his job to take you to... It's not his job to, to take you to school. It, his, what he does is show you the path, and it's up to you what you do with that path, okay? That's the same when you go to school for anything, okay? They're giving you a degree to a certain point, but then they're like, what you do with it is up to you from here. Yeah, and I, and I think, it, you know, I, and we can, and, and Fitch can say that he has spent numerous hours doing the research and everything. That's fine and dandy, okay? That's great. But how you apply that to actually making money for the individual you are helping and not scamming and frauding them, two different things, my friend, okay? You can give all the great information out there in the world. The bottom line is, is that if you're making money off that individual and stealing money from them, you are a criminal. And we know right. that there are criminal activities out there going on through the Internet with identity theft and the same thing here with the scams and frauds on eBay Motors sucks, which is basically what Doc does. And he's basically giving eBay a, a, a bad name because of that. And he says, well, I've, and you know, I've I will be truthful with you, uh, Jason. I thought uh, Doc, I thought Ed Kuhn was a a. A credible person at first, you know, with his website, showing people how to buy cars and all that. I but when he started getting yeah. involved with Chuck Finch and saying that we smeared him all over the internet,